here we go guys welcome back to the channel and today I am going to show you how I uh, add in all of the details on the town now that obviously of course he's been uh, airbrushed you can see underneath there he is dark you can see on the side he's grey and you can see on the top he's very bright white so very very cool and the only colour we need so far is going to be known oil um, because we're going to do most of the uh, edging and stuff with that um, I'm using uh, this is a royal brush from Hobbycraft but it probably a, a medium shade uh, and I'm actually using a small layer brush as well uh, and of course I'm using known oil so there's a few things that we need to bear in mind when we try and paint this guy up one is always try and keep a fine tip on your brush um, and don't worry if you're not neat it just adds to the effect so what we're gonna do and it's really hard for me to do this around the camera is just paint the null oil into all of the, the lines and the crevices See there, I've gone ever so slightly out of the edge, but it doesn't matter too much. And then, of course, go through the legs. Now because the white airbrush paint is reasonably glossy to an extent, if you do make a mistake you can literally just cover over it quite quickly. I say cover over, I mean wipe off like that. So basically work your way around the model, fill in all of the, the gaps in like that and we'll fill that in there as well. And then what you want to do is, as well as obviously filling each of the uh, lines and stuff in there, I also paint the round sort of shoulder joint there with no oil as well just to tone it down and dull it down a bit. What we're then going to do is just run the brush into the corner underneath each panel, like that. And same along the top and down the sides as well. So, around the neck and down the front there now obviously I'm going to keep going I'll do the other leg uh, and I'll be doing the arm and the guns and I will be doing all of the jetpack and everything as well um, but for the ease of this tutorial I'm going to show you what I would do next and that's get the slightly bigger brush uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint all of the ball joint here with the null oil and all of the back of the leg so not the front armour and all of the shin joint right the way down to the ankle joint and 
right into the knee joint there. There, and then do the same on the other leg. So I'll do the rest of the model come back and show you what the next stage is okay so there we go you can see I've done the rest of the lines in the other plasma gun uh, and around the top piece up here and everything uh, I have painted each of the pipes here uh, and on the tip here I've just washed them as well and the pipes here just to make them a little bit darker as I have done when my music comes on uh, so I've also painted both legs here as well um, and the joints here. So the next thing to do is to add a little bit of colour and we're doing that with Calador Sky. Uh, it's a really nice rich blue uh, and what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to paint the entire helmet. Now the blue on the white <clears throat> Despite it being a base colour, it does sometimes take two coats because of how bright the, uh, the white undercoat is essentially. So bear that in mind, it might need two coats to quote our Lord and Saviour. So I do the helmets, I usually do a little bit of the guns, a piece of the shoulder pad and a piece of the shin pad as well, or the thigh pad. So this will actually be my 12th crisis suit. I've got nine already painted and uh, I've got two next to me as I do this one. That are almost finished as well. So there you go, just make sure you get all the helmet. Excuse me. So then I'm going to make sure I get uh, some more. So I'm going to do the shoulder pads. It's taking me time. When you're colouring over white, it's best to keep your brush going in the same direction to just help the strokes actually cover the white. Uh, for the plasma gun, I'm going to paint this section in here. Uh, and with the blue on this, although it's not necessarily shaded, I do actually paint the blue most of the way under. I will be doing the other piece just in front of it as well, but this is just to show you guys uh, what I actually paint. I've just done the inside of the helmet there as well. Um, so I'm going to do this piece here on the front, and it's about just picking up armor plates that help break the white up, basically. that one and then I think we'll probably go for the second pad up on the shins or the other thighs
there we go so that's pretty much all I do I'm gonna copy the other side uh, and we'll come back in a few seconds okay so there we go you can see I've painted the whole of the plasma gun I painted right on the helmet both shoulder pads both shin pads uh, and I've done this little bit here on the um, back piece as well so next up we're going to use a lead belcher um, I'm just going to paint in some of the little bits of details and there's not really many at, at all I tend to do things like these circlets here and you can see one on the side of the backpack here And if you can get in the side of the uh, arm there as well. Switch sides. There's literally not very much silver uh, that I do actually do. Uh, depending on what gear you've gl glued on the top of your suits as well, uh, I'll actually be painting these, the little balls. I don't even know what this upgrade is, but it looks cool. And again, it's just about picking the little bits and pieces up that you think look good and are enough to break up the white so there I've just done those few circles and I'll probably paint these silver on the end Again, just helps break that white up quite nicely. And uh, no jewels there. I know the newer suits or the bigger ones tend to have side um, like ball bearings in the side here uh, and I have painted them for example on the ghost keel and the riptides and stuff like that uh, as well. Okay guys so the next step is to use Ulthuan Grey or Ulthuan however you want to pronounce it and what we're going to do is we're going to dry brush over uh, the bits down here uh, the backs of the leg suits and everything now I've took nearly all of the paint off uh, the brush to dry brush this so it literally takes Quite a bit of brushing just to bring the edges up. The idea is you don't want the contrast to be too stark But you do want it to be visible, so I'd rather build up several thin layers than dry brush it quite thickly There you go, you can see it just building up. And you can see I've actually gone around nearly the whole model with just the one bit of paint on. There we go. Just make sure you get all the patches, but then particularly around the legs here, you can see along the edges and over here where it's all gone on quite nicely as well. Okay, so next up we're going to use surf from sepia, and all we're going to do is just darken down uh, the silvers a little bit. 
just paint it on so that it stains the silver a nice tanned colour. Make sure it's just enough that it changes the colour of the silver but without pooling too much. And then I'm also going to catch the bits here that we painted silver as well. So that's the ball joints on the arms. In there as well. And then whilst that's drying we'll move on to the next colour. Okay, so that's all done. The next stage we are going to be applying Mephiston Red to all of the sort of lenses and buttons and things like that that you can see on the front of the chest plate and of course the eye lens as well. So I'm using a small layer brush still to do these. I find the small layer brush tends to be my go-to brush. those two little buttons there sometimes you'll find as well depending on what things you've attached to the back uh, there may be some parts in there that need some lenses painting I think that is about it there's very very little but it just helps make uh, the miniature pop. So just to help it pop a little bit further, we're gonna use Evil Sun Scarlet um, just to put a dot on each of the red uh, lenses that we've just done. And if you kind of stick to the bottom half of it, it really helps make it give the illusion of kind of glow from one side. There we go. You can see there, especially on the eye, that it's kind of the lower half that I've done it with. And then what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all the silver bits, so the bits that we've um, washed with sepia earlier, so this here, um, and all the cogs uh, and rivets here. We're going to actually highlight them uh, with Iron Breaker next. So again, still with a small layer brush, uh, really, really versatile brush and all I'm doing is painting around about half of the piece in silver so just along the bottom edge there you go So there we go, I've actually highlighted all of them, so all these here, the uh, pipes and tubes on this side. Uh, I've even done some touch-ups on the nodules on this piece of equipment here, just on the very edge. But we're almost done. The next thing is to highlight the blues, and for this I use Temple Guard Blue. Now I do start by essentially doing an edge highlight uh, with a medium layer brush, and then what we do is we basically just drag the brush along the sharpest edge uh, but I don't mind going a little bit over the edge here because the idea is kind of dry brushing it as well whilst also trying to get the corners and the edges and like I said just going over that ever so slight just to dry brush it and blend it in a little bit, give it kind of a weathered, rather than like a Tron effect. Um, I want it close to Tron, but 
splendid as well at the same time. And we'll continue this on all of the blue panels, so even along uh, the, the shin pads uh, and of course the plasmas. Okay, so there we go, and you can see I've done along the bottom edges of the uh, thigh pads. I've done this one here. Uh, you can see I've done the plasma gun and everything. I've done the tip, and of course, both shoulder pads and the helmet as well as this piece on the back. And do you know what? I'm happy to call him finished. I'm happy to put him on the table as is. I think it's pretty cool. I do like it, but in video three, we will take it to the next level uh, and really go that step further if you want to improve your painting skills uh, even more. So please go and check out uh, video three, which is coming up next.